Oh my goodness, guys, it is a great day because we get some more images from the upcoming Avatar The Last Airbender Netflix live action adaption. Oof, try saying that five times fast, but I am so happy that we've got some new images to look at today. And guys, we're starting off with the man, the myth, the legend himself, the dragon of the West, Uncle Iroh. The wisest advice in all of Avatar. I love the look, guys. Love, love, love the look. Here you can see Paul Sun Hyung Lee as Uncle Iroh in Man. He brings that look to life, you guys. I think he looks awesome. Looks just like Uncle Iroh will look with some live action. The facial hair looks great. It looks perfect lined up with the series. I think that this looks awesome, and I feel like he... He just emulates that wisdom and that, that kindness, and I can just feel it coming off of him from this picture, guys. I definitely love the look. Now, it almost looks like he's like in front of a prison. It's weird that this almost reminds me of his prison break in season three of Avatar, but here it looks like maybe he's just preparing to talk to Zuko about something or maybe show him something, maybe reveal something to him or wake him up out of some stupor. But guys, I love the look of Uncle Iroh. You gotta let me know down in the comments how you feeling about this look let's go on to our next one here with zuko and it looks like maybe he's in his lair or in his room inside of the fire nation ship maybe in the first episode and to me it looks like his look is a look of uncertainty it looks like maybe he is contemplating his journey here and maybe just maybe the netflix version will start us off on that second thought a little bit earlier maybe he'll start to have some thoughts about what he's doing early on in the series because it feels like to me in the nickelodeon avatar series of course he he started to really realize fighting for your honor in this nation that has really destroyed other nations wasn't the best way to go so i'm wondering if maybe he starts to have second thoughts early on because here he looks so uncertain maybe it's something that he's remembering from his past maybe he's remembering some kind of interaction with ozai that did not go so well but i love the uncertain look here it very much echoes Zuko's character of not being sure whether to choose this side or that side, having that inner conflict. So I love that we get that expression here in this photo. And you see that picture in the background. It almost looks like a picture if maybe that's either Ozai, Uncle Iroh, maybe just another Fire Nation. I wonder if, is it possibly, maybe I'm reaching, but is it Roku back there? Maybe I'm I'm reaching a little. It could even be Aang. Maybe he's looking for Aang and that's a picture, but I can't quite make it out. My avatar diehards, maybe you guys know exactly what that's a picture of, but I'm wondering what that's a picture of back there. That's really cool. And then we get some scrolls on the right-hand side, probably how to track the avatar and things of that nature. And the suit just looks really, really good. And the armor the material just looks high quality it looks like the fire nation is taken seriously here so i'm really excited to see exactly what this photo means let's move on to our next one here and next up we have fire lord ozai and wow does daniel day kim look great or what you guys this looks pulled straight out of the show and he looks fantastic the long beard the evil eyes the cunning vibrations the suit sitting in front of the fire throne guys this looks like ozai this looks brilliant uh this definitely blows m night Shyamalan's version out of the water i love how this looks guys he looks menacing he looks like he could be the main villain here but also when i look at this picture it sort of reminds me of when ang maybe saw the blip of good in ozai and i wonder how that scene in particular is going to look and that's when they were battling each other in the final battle souls and comet remember when he looked right at him and he got that lick of sympathy i wonder if we're gonna see him that happen with him in the show as well but wow i think daniel day kim looks incredible as ozai i mean even the shoulders guys everything head to toe man all we can see in this picture the crown the fire throne everything looks immaculate in detail you've got these wonder this wonderful lighting that's shading the red onto the paper guys this just looks incredible incredible like so far the zuko picture that we've gotten the iroh picture oh my god iroh looks awesome 
and now Ozai. All of their suits look so good, so well created for the series. This is Commander Zhao. Now, I don't know why I love him so. I, I think just the order of photos I picked out here, I got him in so late in the video, but he looks great as well. I think that he definitely emits that kind of cunning type nature that Zhao had. I really like that. I can't wait for his clashes with Zuko and obviously he's with some Fire Nation warriors. Man, the armor looks great. This, the helmets, everything looks fantastic, guys. Doesn't look straight out of a cosplay bin and no offense to my cosplayers, y'all do a wonderful job. But I think it looks like wardrobe. It looks amazing. And then last but not least, the Fire Princess herself, Azula. And guys, wow. I think she has some crazy cool armor. The shoulder pads look great. The armor looks awesome. She looks kind of short and it looks like, is that Tai Yi in the back? Wait, I think that might be Mei. Yeah, I think that's Mei in the back there. So you got Mei tucked in the back and I'm, I'm really looking forward to their dynamic, of course. I think Azula doesn't look as menacing as I thought. However, I'm excited to see how this actress delivers because I feel like she's going to deliver a very menacing, mean, cunning Azula, which is what we love from the series. You know, I could see her being very, almost kind of innocent looking, but then as soon as she like starts talking and flipping and doing all their, her action, yeah, she's going to be a force to be reckoned with. So while she doesn't look as intimidating as maybe I thought she would look, she definitely is probably going to give us a performance that's very intimidating and it even puts a little bit of fear into Zuko. But guys, let's go back over him again. We've got Uncle Iroh here. Love that picture of Paul Sun Hung Lee looking amazing as Uncle Iroh. The suit is great. The beard and facial hair is great. The facial expression is great, guys. I'm excited for that one. You've got Zuko here kind of looking a little uncertain about something. Love that look. And then Ozai too. Ah, oh, just crazy good commander zhao and then once more with azula and it looks to be either may or tai lee in the back and i can't wait cannot wait it looks like it looks like may honestly but i cannot wait to see this show guys and the headpieces look immaculate as well i'm really looking forward to avatar guys i can't wait to get some more on to the uh not to them goodness on geek week and once that Geek Week comes, guys, of course, as soon as a, te a teaser trailer drops, goodness, as soon as a teaser trailer drops, y'all already know I'll be on it here on the channel. If you haven't seen it already, me and my friends actually broke down the first set of teaser images, and you can find that right up here at the link. But guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for your boy Leo Rydell, y'all, and we'll see you next time on Geek League Goods.